I know I gotta be strong Cause around me life goes on and on and on And oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Ooh, that's a lot of stuff up in there today Good morning Good afternoon Good evening, family. First of all, I think I've done enough uh, praying and crying this morning. Um, this is the birthday of my one of my youngest brothers, um, Ricky. I miss you so much, dude. I just do. There's so much I would like to say to you. There's so many things that... Um, that has happened since you've been gone, since you you crossed over. I'm I'm I'm. I know you wouldn't want to see us extremely sad the way we are, but we really haven't recovered from your um, untimely demise. I should say. Uh, the word I really want to say I can't say because YouTube will flag me. Um, but I know you're around me, and I feel your presence. I keep thinking about the last time we talked, and um, I had you bring the dog food up for me, and you said, oh, shoot, that's a big bag. <laughs> I, I said, please, bro. And then you were just joking, but you brought it up, and, and, and you were always such a good help. You were such a loving brother, even when I wasn't as loving as I should have been. I wasn't always the best sister. And um, I tell people now, um, but I am glad that the last words that I said to you was how much I loved you. And I told you uh, that I loved you, no matter how much we fight like cats and dogs. And I'm so glad that I got that off my heart because um, I would be a lot more miserable now had I not done that. So I just want y'all to know that Ricky's birthday was today. And um, we miss him so. And if you got anybody in your family Who's not here with you now? Who was taken away at the hands of somebody else? Stay in prayer with me and I'll stay in prayer with you for our healing. But our family members, respectively, are in another dimension now. So they passed on in their ancestors. And I thank God for the time that we had to spend together. It's like that song that Carol Burnett used to sing. And I don't know, a lot of y'all so young, I'm sure you don't even know who she is. She used to sing this song, and every time she would go off the air, and she was a comedian, and she had a variety show. I think it came on Sunday nights. But... Every time she would close her show, she would sing, um, I'm so glad we had this time together just to laugh a laugh and sing a song. Seems we just get started and before you know it, I'm all off key, comes a time we have to say so long so long but I miss you man I really do but <clears throat> let me get to my story before I start it up again thank y'all well CBS Evening News um, in the U governor polls finds that African Americans are 
really the driving surge in some states, especially swing states, um, in support of Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, we not round like we should now, okay? But President Biden's decision to drop out of the race has led to a small jump in Democrats who now say they will vote in 2024 from two weeks ago. That small increase could make a major difference in the handful of states that decided that will decide the contest. Harris has also eliminated the debate over cognitive health. The poll found nearly two-thirds of voters believe she has the mental capacity to serve as president. 13 points ahead of uh, Trump, who now, uh, who, now that Biden has ended his bid for a second term, will be the oldest damn president to take office. And y'all like that, huh? First of all, I'm just going to say it straight up. I don't, I can't believe that uh, the shit is this close. Shouldn't even be this close. It shouldn't even be this close. What kind of country are we? I mean, and how racism is in the fabric so much. The blood is just dripping every time you pick up soil. And let it fall out. Ain't nothing but the blood of my ancestors falling down. Because there's no way. And for all the good white people out there. Where you at? You lead, That's leading me to believe. Is, is there none? Not one good? I mean. Where the good ones at? They saying nationally. Uh, Donald Trump has gotten 49%. And she got. 50%. She being Kamala. And the battleground states, they tied neck and neck. I just, I find it's hard to believe. I find it like maybe they're trying to stop you from going out to vote, thinking that it's already a shut and dry case. Go out and vote anyway, y'all. If you still vote, can vote early, I believe, in most of these states. Go do it. Think until tomorrow, maybe. Um, if you still can vote early, go go vote early. Um, because, like I said, this is going to be a problem. And if Donald Trump is president again, I, I'm anticipating, like I told y'all before, I ain't going to be here. I already know I cannot take another turn with him. Um... But I've been looking at uh, uh, friends that's setting up uh, an abode for me in Costa Rica because I was really thinking about Gambia. I was thinking about Africa, but it's just in some spots it's just so underdeveloped. And um, I, I just really, really, really um, the place I wanted to go, the 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 people the. Um, African Americans are becoming a lot of them are being unalived um, whether it's through health issues um, whether it's they get there and they have um, you know people staying on the grounds with them or they're getting houses built and then they're uh, having boys what they call boys quarters or servants quarters and I believe a lot of them have something to do with them being unalived but I just don't feel as positive. Now, there's a couple of them like Sierra Leone or, um, you know, Ghana. There's also options. However, the place I want to I want to be in is I want to be in warmth, and um, like mm -hmm. I said, between Costa Rica and Ghana. Gambia is not no longer a choice. Uh, I might have to make that move. So I, I'm ready. I'm prepared. And I've been talking about it for a long time. I've been selling things and doing what I need to do that when I have to get the hell out of here, I'm able to do that. Um, the, the thing about it, I never thought the race would be this close. I never thought that y'all would let America down this way and vote for a grapist, 
vote for a racist, vote for a, a doodle man that pees and, and shit on itself. Uh, none of these things I thought that um, I would be even thinking about at this time. Because I was just saying in gist, you know, well, if Donald Trump ever win again, I ain't going to be here. And now it's getting to the point where he just might be here. Uh, new, there's another a new poll show that Harris has improved significantly with 81% of likely black voters now saying they will vote Democrat and just 18% of Republican. The latest poll also found a significantly higher number of black Americans plan to vote. Democrat in November um, I, I believe it's white women And white women you are letting the whole country down They expecting those numbers to be even higher than 53% And that's what you pulled Donald Trump over with last time And a lot of them are saying Hey <laughs> Y'all might even do bigger numbers So If you gonna blame anybody this election It ain't gonna be but black people, it should be white women. Because, you know, you always blame us for everything. We the shit on everybody's shoe. But if white women show up for Trump like it looks like they're doing, this is a race that is really right now just too close to call. All right, so nevertheless... That's the information I wanted to bring y'all today. I'm not going to um, get you to, I don't want you to freak out over it or stroke over it. Uh, like I said, it is what it is. And um, we'll see. We'll see. I hope some of y'all who are having um, anxiety about this election will find a way to uh, relax yourself and calm down because it's almost over. You see, you heard they've been burning the ballot boxes and uh, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. This is all Trump supporters doing evil, sick shit like this. And so there's a lot of people that believe in racism and they want Donald Trump, but some people are just adversarial. And I remember I, n I never knew um, what that meant when I until I got into psych uh, psychology and was running a group home and they would talk about some people are just oppositional defiant. So no matter what, they just want to be, a op you know, oppositional. Uh, and that's part of their mental illness. So because we such a country full of mental ill people, and nobody want to deal with that. The mentals of this. This is going to go down where you turned on by somebody like Donald Trump. That's because your standard for madness is prevalent. Because anybody that is balanced in their right mind, they wouldn't even think about voting for Donald Trump. And that is my honest opinion. And I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but if the shoe fit, wear it and wear it good. If you vote for a demagogue, you are morally bankrupt. And I wouldn't have nothing to say to you. That's just like if I, I have family members, I can know a brother that been a brother that just got murdered, and somebody asked me, do I want to be friends with his family members? Or do I want to be friends with him, actually? Not right no, no. I and and he's done too much stuff and he's robbed my family of all their future. He's done all types of things. And I'm like, it's still a close whether I want to be his friend. Well, no, God hasn't don't work in me like that yet. I'm still a work in progress. Now, I know there's a lot of y'all who get y'all family members stomped and killed and whatever. And y'all, five minutes later, talking about you forgive the person. That ain't me. It take me a little while because... I don't know who made that rule. Sound like a slave master made that rule that no matter what you do to me, I got to forgive you. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay? So, with that being said, everything has to run its course. But I just hope we get up and do what we got to do. Because right now, nationally, 
of uh, Kamala. Kamala is only up one point, and battleground states she's tied. This is insane. You feel me? It just don't make sense. And with that, it's like Michigan. Um, she, I think she's winning like 48 to 40. I think it's tied. Pennsylvania, it's 48-48. And Wisconsin, the damn state I'm in. Mean. The shit is 49 to 50 in favor of Trump. So, you know, Wisconsin is mostly a white state, uh, like most of the states. But black people reside in Racine, they reside in Beloit, and they reside in Milwaukee. And in Wisconsin, yeah, 49% is voting for Harris, 50% for Trump. Pennsylvania is tied, and they saying that Harris and Trump is tied also in Michigan. So, like, um, I don't like to just use polls, but this is where we at. This is where we at right now. This is where we at. Anyway, I want to know if y'all going out to vote. Have you voted already? Those of y'all who... um. You know, who are anticipating. If you're not voting, tell me why. Tell me why. Stand up. Let it be known. All right. Now, with that being said, I will see you all. If you like what you hear, first of all, like, subscribe, and share my channel. And uh, I will catch you all in the next video.